What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hello there. <laughs> and our actual lawyer, Pridge. Good evening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had to think of something couldn't get, and couldn't get anything, so hey. I just said what I normally hey, say. fine. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes no, it's no. just a good hello. Hey. Everybody, give Pridge a hug. <laughs> Uh, folks, if you like this show, you can watch it live on twitch.tv slash team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if not, no worries. It goes up as an edited VOD the very following Monday and Tuesday. Edited, of course, by me. Uh, oh, no. Oh God, Wes. God, Wes, I can hear them. They're at my door. They're coming to hug me. Hug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They're busting into the windows. Bridge, get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming out of the trees <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what what set magnus off but he got so mad there for a second uh, he was like i have been called to hug <laughs> father i real. must go for real yeah we got get a little magnus on the cam there he is good boy <laughs> Uh, also, if you want to support us, you can go over to patreon.com slash save data team as well as etsy.com slash shop slash save data team. We can find merch, including Anytown Ohio branded shirts, mugs, pins, stickers, all the stuff. Uh, but either way, we thank you for watching. And then are you going to talk about what's coming up Saturday? Well, I guess oh, this no. won't be oh, up, no. so it doesn't matter. Oh, no. I just spilled some wine on the floor. Give me two seconds, folks. <laughs> okay. Now should we play the game? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Do you want to spill something else really quick before we start? Oh, yeah. I got this old bottle of water over here. Let me just do that. <laughs> the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm not drunk yet. It looks looks uh, like it was a good thing you spilled some of that wine. Okay. Today. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 poo hoo hoo okay. hoo hoo. <laughs> Let's get into the game. <clears throat> Can we solve the crime before New Year's? Good morning, Max. Oh, yeah. Good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparkling self today. I'm always like this before I go in front of an audience. I'm working up to it. That's kind of surprising that he is stage four. <laughs> this is Monaco. Oh, uh, I think it's. I think... <laughs> no, I think it's Pearl. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 Got him. Watching your face as you were like. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's me. God damn it. Get fucked. Ha -ha. Yes. Made it. Don't get nervous, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk. Ew. Regina. <laughs> How fabulous. My oh. sweetie pie. My sweetie pie princess. You came to watch my performance today? Of course I did. Mo told me that I should come and watch this. Mo said, he said I should watch you fry. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that fly was spelled with an L. I wonder what's going to happen. God damn it. So what kind of performance will you put on today? <gasps> Let me guess. You'll fly at the end. Uh. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing, dog. What? <laughs> It's not that kind of show. <laughs> Isn't that right, my sweeties? Yes, this is his OnlyFans. <laughs> no! <laughs> huh? I think my sweetie pie princess doesn't... Have a brain? Yeah. She doesn't seem to realize <laughs> what's going on. Or even where she is. <sighs> Well, Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtain. I'll see you later. Today I'm just a member of the audience. 
F fabulous! Enjoy yourself out there! Good luck, Max. You're the best. Regina's different, don't you think, <laughs> Nick? That's a nice way I'm of so saying it, Maya. I'm so glad you were going to say Yeah, I'm so glad you said it like that. <laughs> Top of the morning to you! <laughs> I really I was wanted like, you to do. Uh, I, I read that as Magnus. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Really you to Put that Martin into you. <laughs> oh, God. He's, he's, he's back. He's back. He, he had enough money to, to never age. <laughs> he bought him. Top of the Martin to you, ladies. <laughs> Put him to He's here to get revenge against us for, <laughs> for Ryanosuke's transgressions. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, let's get ready to get stuck in legal limbo! <laughs> How low can you go? I don't think we can go lower than this, Mo. <laughs> it's about rock bottom. Mo. <laughs> Jesus, what is, what is he's he doing? really running this joke, huh? Top of the morning to you, governor. Uh, top of the morning. <laughs> That's the ticket! Attacking the day starts with energy in the morning! The early bird gets the worm, but then again, worms lack higher brain function! <laughs> hey here, Max, I brought you a present! Have some milk! I get that the whole thing is that he drinks milk before his performances, but it's very weird. I love the idea of F1 just walking up <laughs> Have some milk. Here, have a second fucking <laughs> full ass carton of milk. Have some mo milk. <laughs> mo milk, mo problems. <laughs> also, to add for this case, the greatest showman's weird, lol. <laughs> greatest, greatest showman is weird. Uh -huh. It's, it's They're okay. They're about to start singing. They're about to start singing. The musical yeah. number is about to start happening. Mm. Fucking huge. Uh, fuck, what's his name shows up? Uh, oh, oh, go, oh, god damn it! Uh, Will Power Will shows Power up. Will Power shows up. Perfect, because he is you, Jackman. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> we figured it out. We just gotta get Will Powers to star in the Barry Big Circus musical that they're gonna make. <laughs> That would be very funny, actually. Only if he gets, only if he gets Russell Crowe's beautiful singing voice oh, to join him. God. Like Please. <laughs> Two four six zero oh, one. No, we will present two more six zero oh, one. My name's uh, you, guys are, you guys are doing it right because you both sound good. <laughs> God damn it, you're right. I don't know. I just can't to stop the it, talent. Just butcher it way worse. <laughs> <laughs> just, the name's Jamais. So like he seems so in pain when he's singing. I mean you. You just kind of have to hold your nose the whole time, and that's kind of how he does it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, also, Giant Penguin dropped some trick on us. Uh, the prefix galact is derived from the Greek word for milk, hence the Milky Way, which is... Oh, that's fucking good. I didn't know that. Really? Really? That's cool. Thank really? you. Yeah. <laughs> Toss me a glass of galact. <laughs> Uh, also, Spirit Otter Streams, which is also a good name. Uh, lots of performers do something to hype themselves to eat a certain meal or do exercise. Uh, I do some stretches, listen to happy music before balloon gigs, so everyone's different. Yeah, I used to do push ups yeah. before I went on stage. Yeah, so, like, get, your, like get your heart rate up. I feel like drinking a shit ton of milk would be like the worst oh, idea. Oh, absolutely not. I would never. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing at least he doesn't have to sing or speak speak a lot because yeah. i imagine he just flies however if he i hope he's not <laughs> lactose intolerant because if he is then he's totally carpet it turns bombing out, it the turns whole out, audience it turns out everyone at the circus wears fucking diapers <laughs> <laughs> i shit like, my like, pants sweeties i <laughs> <laughs> uh, want a belly yes. full of milk as wires pulled me around yeah. a circus <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my! Uh, <clears throat> thank you. So, how are you today? Right? Well, I've 
got the feeling that today I'm going to face off against the real criminal. You mean Acro? Damn, Mo! Damn, Mo! Huh? You can't just say that! You think he did it? Be careful! Acro fucks! Damn, Mo! Acro, Acro fucks! <laughs> He's used to putting his life on the line. Literally. He's got guts to spare. If all no, guts... really. He's got like five stomachs. It's weird. <laughs> he's like a xenomorph. <laughs> wow. Deep cut. <laughs> if all I've got to worry about is how thin the tightrope is, I'm used to it already. It just means that I won't be able to press him like I can other witnesses. What are you going to do then, Nick? That's kind of your whole thing, is just kind of making shit up. I guess today we'll just have to do without our usual psychological warfare. Is that what you call it? <laughs> what color is my underwear? <laughs> <laughs> today we'll rely on evidence. It's the only way we'll get past Acro and to the truth. Today we'll rely on evidence. Something I've never done, never before. done before. For the first time. <laughs> You're right. But it's going to be tough. Should we just, can we just go home? I don't want to anymore. You know what, Maya? That's a fair point. Let's grab some burgers and get out of here. <laughs> Anyways, I want you to make sure that Regina sees it all today. It's important. Then she'll finally have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. Yeah, like when Jesus, like how Jesus killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then ascended to heaven afterwards. <laughs> You want us to make sure Regina watches? <laughs> yes, that's why I brought her to court today. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know that when people die, they are... When people... People die when they are killed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my one mo shindayru! She needs to know that when people die, they don't just become stars. I may be it. They teleport. Their souls are teleported into a giant spaceship to welcome the coming of Zenu. Oh my Come god! Come on, wow. everybody knows this shit. <laughs> I did not expect you to go for a fucking uh, Scientology, Scientology joke. Yeah, everyone knows. Everyone knows Mo's like six level of Scientology. <laughs> oh yeah. Over half is so his, deep. Over half of his paychecks go to <laughs> go to the church. <laughs> They Tom have so Burgers much is like his biggest we fan. Never begin to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Val Doodles uh, also described it. Dear one, thank you, Val Doodles. <clears throat> I may be an old fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars like these hippies nowadays. <laughs> Well, but I a, do believe in Zeno. That was a really <laughs> abrupt cut on Quick that cut. one. Quick cut. It yeah. was. That was like his hot take, and they're like, ooh, we gotta end it on that. <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready to go home. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not ready, so we'll just sit here until <laughs> I am. Very well. Miss Von Karma, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution would like to revise its previous theory of events. What's the meaning of this? We have discovered a new witness. Or shall I say a new eye witness? One that saw Maximilian Galactica fly off from the scene of the crime. Hmm. -hmm. Ooh, that was timed perfectly with the music. Yeah. Order! Order! I had a feeling something like this would come up. It happens pretty much every time we do this. <laughs> every time that spiky hair is kind of about bitches in this court. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm missing happy hours. So let's get this over with. <laughs> Due to this revision, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. 
and explanations the prosecution will present if the need so arises. What? In fact, my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene on my orders. I love the idea that Gumshoe would just come forth with like a little like... With a diorama. A diorama, like in a shoebox, like you make in third grade. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he has like a really little cute. he has like a little cutout of Max and he's like has a string hole at the top. And he's like, and here's where he raises up, pal. <laughs> yeah, oh, and it's like it's actually really good. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, like, and he's I like s- I spent all night on this. <laughs> there's me and there's Von Karma. And look, there's you, pal. <laughs> I even made Edge work, but he's dead, so I put X's over his eyes. <laughs> Don't say his name. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Gumshoe. Very well. Please call your witness to the stand. Time to get to work. Or shall I say, time to walk the courtroom tightrope. I mean, wow! sure, you say, you sure. Just, you, you, you could just say time to get to work. Yeah, that was... Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say that one out loud. Damn, this guy's working the sympathy real hard on this one, huh? Oh, yeah. Also, we, we've we confirmed that you either, when you're behind the stand, you're standing at full height or are on a box. Uh-huh. And he's sitting because he's in a wheelchair. Yeah. So there's one of two things happening. There's like a ramp and they led up to the top. Or what I think is a better option, Acros he put on is... huge fucking wheels. Oh, I thought you were going to say Acros no. torso is like 10 feet long. That That's also, he could have like, like a, like a, like what's the Undertale long dog torso. He could do that. <laughs> But so someone could totally draw Acro with like a really awkwardly long torso. <laughs> oh no! Or I want to. I was thinking Acro just put monster truck monster wheels truck. on his <laughs> on his wheelchair, so he's fucking real big. He's real tall. Sunday, Sunday, okay. Sunday. Courthouse <laughs> number four. You're gonna see Acro do some crazy shit. Admission <laughs> covers the seat, the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, name and occupation. God fuck. How did I forget? How did I forget? It hits you like a truck every time it yeah, shows a up. A monster truck. <laughs> you can do this, Wes. I believe I in do- you. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> God damn it. No, okay. I think it's back. I can't do I this. Can't do this. <laughs> I need it. Okay. Ken Dingling. But everyone calls me Acro, and I'm very glad that they do. Everyone calls me Ring a Ding a Ding Link. Ring a Ding 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 Ding. Wow. Fucking Crazy Frog reference in 2020. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm employed as an acrobat at the Berry Big Circus. Where were you the night of the crime? I was in my room that night. If you look at the map, you will see the witness's room is near the crime scene. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. Because the Big Berry Circus is dicks to the disabled. Yes. (laughs) Hmm. Just going to point that out there. The night is a crime. The witness saw something quite shocking. Would you, tle- would you tell us what you witnessed? Okay. He killed him. The end. It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting in my bed. Around that time I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but I'd recognize that ass anywhere. (laughs) (laughs) But that's who it looked like. Based on the ass. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, To be honest, when I saw that, 
I thought I was dreaming. Also, can somebody get these fucking birds off me? Jesus. I want to make my pets, but they actually just won't leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> hmm. The witness's testimony matches up exactly with that of the clown. If that's the case, there is very little the prosecution need add. All that's left is to explain how the defendant disappeared into the night sky. Or into the, er, in, into the sky that night. Before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness. A foolish choice by a foolish fool who wishes to feel the foolish sadness of a sad fool. <laughs> okay. You're really getting into it now, yeah. huh? Someone needs a thesaurus. <laughs> Damn. A man must know the proper timing for things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And a woman must know multiple words for the word fool. <laughs> Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth did. Oh, how dare you! Rage! <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with that? <laughs> oh. Mr. Wright... <laughs> Just saying the name Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> it's the it's the fucking scene from Life of Brian. He's like, what's so <laughs> what's the problem with Miles Edgeworth? <laughs> I have a very good friend in Rome called Miles Edgeworth. <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? In the words of Miss Von Karma. I may quote yes may I quote yesterday's proceedings. Fuck you. <laughs> There's no that way that said. actually happened. Very well. You may proceed with your cross examination. Uh, okay. I don't think that's anything. I really, I really hope that the secret, because especially in this sprite animation, mm -hmm. it looks like the one, the one bird is leaning up in his ear, and he's like, "Kill the macro, kill them all." <laughs> all the birds in the Ace Attorney universe are like actually evil. They're evil, yeah. He's like, <laughs> "My you commander, did it the... my commander, Polly demands it." <laughs> <laughs> you did it the first time. Now do it again. Burn the building, Acro. <laughs> do all as birds. we say. Or like, we'll yeah, never the release that, your like, brother. The canon is that all birds <laughs> are servants of Polly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, her wing, her winged messengers of doom. Yeah, Polly is the Polly is the burb overlord, and mm -hmm, all other yeah. burbs. These are her two, two burb commanders. Yeah. <laughs> we, we 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 down to press everything from this point on. Yeah. I mean. It's not like I know the answer, but... Yeah. Your room is on the third floor, right? Yes. And you said that you were resting in bed. That is correct. But you were still able to hear a sound from outside. Phoenix, that is a terrible... What listen, you... listen. My legs don't work, but my ears do. God asshole. <laughs> Uh, I was indeed. Pressing acro doesn't seem to get results. Hmm. Maybe something was contradictory with what he just said. Uh. He, he just said indeed. That's true. I what, mean. What contradiction there could there be? It's the thing where I'm like, the game is giving us the option. I know they have some red herrings like this, but do we do we just push it? This one screams. This one honestly screams red herring to me. Yeah, but I feel like all the red herring ones are the ones that are. Yeah, f whatever. There's what, what, did, what did he say that could be a contradiction? He literally said, "Yes, I do live on the third floor and heard a thump." Yeah, <laughs> I agree. What's the matter, Mister Wright? N nothing, Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I should tread lightly. Uh, okay. Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a <laughs> mannequin, or perhaps a large action figure. A large action figure? Large! Hmm. 
Well, setting aside the possibility of a mannequin, an action figure is plausible. Is it? Acro? Oh, I just chucked an action figure up there. <laughs> Not an actual flying... Hey, listen, we know from the commercial <laughs> that Buzz Lightyear can actually fly. Oh, my God. You have no need to mince words with Mr. Phoenix Wright. Testify to the truth and only the truth, just as if we were there with you that night. I believe it was a human. Hmm. Damn. I just strengthened his testimony. I mean, that's pretty bad. You're all confirming. Stupid. I wonder if Acro's statement jives with the facts. Okay, so they are going to do this for the jives. Did he actually just say jives? He did say jives. Yeah. Uh, I know there's nothing offensive about that term, but I just want to cancel Phoenix out of principle that he said the word jives. Uh, I mean... Sorry, I don't speak Italian. I'm gonna... Let's get through these and see if there's a thing that stands out. Uh, I just looked at... I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. All right, let's press this. The light in your room was turned off then, right? That's true. I was going to bed, after all. So, with the lights off... You were still able to clearly see a human fly by your window. Or a mannequin. Or a large action figure. The safety lights lit things up enough for me to see. It's impossible to get... I don't have blackout <laughs> curtains. I've asked for them for, for days. For weeks. <laughs> yeah, they kind of forget me up there. <laughs> but honestly, there was only enough light for me to see the silhouette outside my window. It was the person's back, so... I couldn't see the white roses on the front. Then how do you know there were white roses on the front? Did you see any of the other symbols? Oh, five birds. Yeah. I clearly saw the silk hat as well as the cloak wrapped around his body. <laughs> oh, they're just back. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> they just blink in. I'm convinced Great, that the now person the birds I are teleporting. Was my <laughs> <laughs> Are, are, they're using uh, Megan's warp theory to teleport back to his shoulder. Uh, oh no, they're they're blood dimension burbs. <laughs> they truly, they truly do know. They truly do know, Polly. Then. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh, here's this again. The more I press him, the less results I seem to get. Maybe there was something fishy with this latest bit of testimony. I mean, like. <sighs> that one there could be because I don't know why he mentions the white rose if he couldn't see it. Yeah, uh, I mean that and just like it feels it feels the most flimsy of everything of like oh I saw a silhouette of somebody it had to be Max even though we've clearly established that other people could have taken his cloak hat and cloak that night. Yeah. Well, you're you're looking for a contradiction. You're not looking for yeah. Can you argue the validity of what That's happened? Fine. When I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. I mean, it, it feels stupid to press, but sure, game. When did you start thinking that? When did you start thinking that what you saw wasn't a dream? That's not important. I mean, it could be. I believe that the prosecution has done a bit of maintenance on the witness's memory. Ah! Dang, Clockwork Orange. Hmm, just to make sure, let's ask the witness. Ow! Yo! Objection. Sustained. What? Don't sustain that! Acro must be lying about things, huh? Of course he is. Huh. Now the challenge will be to expose his lies in court. Well, put the pedal to the metal, Nick. Fucking hurry it up. I have no fucking clue. Um, now, this is the only thing we haven't pressed yet, so yeah. in case it wants to press everything. You said that you were resting in bed. One would thus assume that you would turn the lights off in your room, correct? No, we did this one. Didn't we? No, we didn't. No. Oh. He just said it later. That, That's correct. But there are safety lights around the outside of the lodging house. It's so bright, sometimes it can make it hard to sleep. Wow, I... have Man, they really hate this guy. Yeah, for real. If that's the case, wouldn't it be a good idea to close some curtains? Uh, 
Who's Goodbye, letting all these birds in my courtroom? <laughs> I never really thought of that. I guess that means I'm off to buy some curtains. <laughs> Sometimes I do make myself useful in these chambers. You really don't. Oh my god. Ow! The witness will proceed with his testimony. Um. Okay, so we can't even press that. We can't even object to that one. Yeah, so no. thump noise. Someone flying. Him behind the back. Thought he was dreaming. Well, we can't do it the dreaming one either. It's just these middle three. Mm -hmm. right well, do you want to do you want to do you want to start with the one that you thought was the fishiest? Yeah, I mean that was the. I mean that was the one where he gave any information that there even was to contradict. Mm. I think I realize what's going on. Um, feel free to share with the class. In my head, it's not Max. It's the bust of Max. Um, the, the, the bust is missing, right? Oh, my. Oh, you think someone pulled the bust up to make it look like... Yeah. Um... Wait, where is the bus? Oh, I think you just have a photo. Yeah, that's a photo. taken from the cafeteria before the crime, so it's missing or was missing at the time of the crime. Mm -hmm. I think, and he, and he was like, he, "Well, it could be something that wasn't a human," but I think he uh -huh. said it. But I could be, I could be jumping ahead of what they want us to think on that. You, one. you are, you okay. are. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll tell I, you right now to avoid frustration. You're, you're jumping ahead. All right. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Look at the hat. Look at the the hat in the court record. I need to order fedora. Fabulousness found at the crime scene. Oh, oh so the hat okay. Was still there. He, yeah, that's right. Okay, I forgot so, about that. He said, "Yeah, this is the one that we would object to." Then, right? Look like because uh, he said he has the hat. Yeah. I yeah. Think so. Okay. Whichever one he says. Well, you don't object. Yeah, you're gonna press, press it, press. and then yeah. Okay. Can you have a contradiction? There is a contradiction. There is a huge contradiction with the testimony that was just given. If there's a contradiction, then prove it with evidence. I will. Hmm, she's right. Let's see some evidence. She's right. Do you Based have any title. evidence to support your claim of a contradiction? It's this lion. <laughs> we, know yeah, yeah. we know how much you love We know how much you love lion macro. Oh no. You claim to have seen the exact same thing that Mo saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down out of your window that night. That would have been quite Jesus difficult Phoenix. considering the state that I'm in. Oh. Just looking outside of the window was a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame, because you would have noticed this silk hat found on the scene. <laughs> That's a shame, you Phoenix. idiot. Oh. <laughs> that, that's the ringmaster's hat, right? Afraid nope, not. you idiot! No matter how you look at it, this is Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max has two silk hats? No. No. Yes. He wore one as he was leaving, but left another at the sea for no reason. This is a it's, handmade... It's his, it's his stunt hat. <laughs> one of a kind model made only for Maximilian Galactica. Which means... Acro. It's not his real hat, it's only a model of a hat. That you've been fibbing on the stand. <laughs> order, order! Now we know we know that perjury is a huge crime bridge, but how about fibbing? Yeah. It's crime. <laughs> oh no. Crime. Also, you, you think that hat's a first original? <laughs> First original. Pridge, Pridge, Pridge suddenly pulls out exactly Maximilian Galactica's hat online. We're like, where do you get all these what? things? 
<laughs> I mean, again, do you, well, again, do you think it was uh, made made by the first hat making uh, family? Oh, from the first. Oh. You're making oh, the Greatest Journey Chronicles reference. A first oh. original. Ah, see what I'm doing there? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, referencing I get it. hat maker. Uh-huh. Lady. Wow. Uh-huh. Like always, someone has to open their mouth before thinking. Is it you? <laughs> Shut up. No, she, just whips, okay, she just whips before thinking. Yeah. Well, I opened my big mouth, and now I have to back it up. And now I have to back it up. Back. Back, back, it, back up. it up. <laughs> yeah. How uh, about it, Mr. Wright? You ready to back that thing up? <laughs> what would you... What would cause this witness to commit perjury in this court today? Uh... <laughs> Dang. I mean, well, just I mean, go cloud, for the jugular. I mean, the cloud told me about him. Yeah... Acro is the real culprit, I guess. That's what the cloud told Backing me. I mean, yeah. if Backing the cloud up. said it's true, then I gotta believe him. Yeah. Mo has never had led us astray. Your Honor, on this occasion, the defense accuses Acro himself. On this occasion. This isn't the first time you've accused the, the witness, like. You do this every case? <laughs> a- accuses Acro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. I mean, based on that picture, your monster wheels theory might be right. It's huge. Yeah, I know, right? Those wheels look ass- pretty big. Yeah. Those ain't no Tonka truck wheels, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you serious? Deadly serious. You're, you can't say, come on, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> A man has been <laughs> murdered. <laughs> I think your trips to the circus have served you well. You seem to remember how to try and grab an audience's at hearts, uh, grab at an audience's hearts and minds. Your Honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by theatrics. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. Uh, <laughs> really? If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. I can't. Oh, that's that's a hummingbird. Which, yeah, that is a hummingbird. Which makes me think that he, like has something in his mouth that the hummingbird is like <laughs> he, he has just like a pocket of like maple syrup he keeps in his mouth that the he's bird just like he, he's dipping maple syrup yeah. just to pull it. <laughs> he's calm enough for it to almost be scary mm. <laughs> oh yeah i forgot about this yeah that's so cute he is staying rather calm and collect. God, God, fuck this bird. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck. Get, get out fuck of you. here. God. Hey, fuck off. Hey. <laughs> Mr. <clears throat> Dingling. <clears throat> Do you have any response to the defense's accusation? <clears throat> oh, he's right. I did do it. You got me again. You got me again, Phoenix. I'm a nice guy, so I'll cut you some slack. I'll just say I did it. <laughs> I don't really need to say a thing, do I? What do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. That's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me of a murder of all things... Now, don't you feel bad? Yeah. See, even a silver, even a. That's I think not, it's yeah, supposed to be a, sliver. That's, that's a. Even a typo. silver of common sense makes it clear <laughs> the accusation is ludicrous. Arr. <laughs> pirate, pirate man. Pirate Fran. I feel like Francisco would make a great pirate. Uh, yes. He would make a great pirate. <clears throat> She's oh, right. Way to pick on the disabled. You heartless, cruel man. Oh, God. 
What? Oh no, this is better. Phoenix is a poopy head. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, may we go to the park? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe go to England and go to McGilded Park. <laughs> Which is still definitely named McGilded Park. See that, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You are a poopy head. <laughs> if you're trying to drum up support from the peanut gallery, that's how you do it. Uh... I think that's enough of this little game. I've got a doctor's note to confirm that Acro is unable to stand under his own power and that he can't kill people. <laughs> May he's medically incapable of murder. <laughs> Maybe the defense is planning on making a claim to counter this as well. I can hear the defense now. Acro had an accomplice. What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? Did Acro have an accomplice? It was the puppet. Yeah, that would be very. It fun. was his comatose brother. They always work together. It's a prestige thing. They're actually lying. No oh, shit. It isn't Acro. It's actually Bat the whole time. Oh my god. It's actually Christopher Nolan. That was. Yeah. It was actually Eeny Miney the whole time. No. Yeah. I was like, are you just gonna keep rehashing the same thing yeah. of <laughs> twins? Yeah. What What are we thinking here? Chris. I don't think he. I don't think he had an accomplice. I think. I think you're right. Uh, Croissant also chewed 100 bits, saying, "I'm sorry, but I just thought of Francisca hiring hecklers for the gallery, and the best thing she'd come up with to say is Phoenix is a poofy head." <laughs> 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 She's giving out like hundred dollar bills to people, and they're like, oh, uh, "Okay, what should I say?" Uh, uh, you're going to say that Phoenix is a poopy head, and then you're going to shout, Franziska von Karma is the queen of the dumbasses. Okay, uh, got it? Uh, sure. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah th thanks for the hundred dollars. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I want to answer Punchron's question. Um, also, hey, what's up, Punchron? Haven't seen you. Yeah, so hey, Punchron. Oh, hey! Uh, so, why do courts even have audience, especially if random people completely unrelated to the case can just sit and watch? I think that's how it works, but, like, wouldn't it be easier to have only the people involved be there? So, a couple things. You can close off certain cases to the public, um, depending on the circumstances. Uh, two, how else am I? How else am I going to? Uh, how else am I going to get experience watching court? How else are law students like <laughs> me going to get experience watching watching court cases if we can't just walk into random courtrooms and watch stuff? It's for me. <laughs> it's um, for Bridge. Bridge is the reason. It's for me. <laughs> um, but also it's. It's basically in the interest of... It's basically in the interest of court proceedings not being some closed door... Because otherwise of, uh, you could be like, oh, something crazy happened. And... Exactly. We, we sort of want them to be open to the public because there's less chance of it being, you know, like, it's shady dealings happening if it's all open into the public. Um, a, a sort of closed door court system would kind of leave, lead a lot of, you know, accusations of shady dealings mm -hmm. and justice not true, you know, and justice not being fair and impartial. It, 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 yeah, it's sort of the idea again. If, if yeah, transparency, I think is the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. um, Avery just said, I think transparency is the word, is, is the word that they want a transparent process. And by having it open, it just, it, it, it makes that more more apparent. Now then, this must be when we get to hear the name of this mystery accomplice. Not this time, Von Karma. What? You're not going to sucker me into this one. What are you blabbering about, <laughs> Mr. Wright? What? You rude. idiot. There was, there was no accomplice. Acro planned and committed this murder all by himself. Yeah, damn, those wheels are tall. Uh, order! Order! Uh, what the... What are you getting at? Way to keep them on their toes, Nick. Now, I'm gonna have to... Now I'm gonna have to prove how it all fits together. I have to show how Acro murdered Russell Berry. Can you... 
do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> All right. La -da then let's do it. We like to party. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright. If the witness is the killer, then this uh, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Hmm. Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? He was in the cafeteria. Yeah. Nah, he was he was in his room, like he said. He was obviously here the entire time. That's Acro's room. Pretty simple, huh? Acro wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. There's only one answer to that. Acro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. What? Are you nuts? Oh, pecans and walnuts, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What say you, Mr. Dingling? It's an interesting theory. A game theory. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Um, that's it? Considering that what you propose is impossible, yes, that's it. Uh, hmm. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? As the witness has stated, your assertion is impossible. As he is in a wheelchair, there is no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. Hmm. You've got a point. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true. Mo said that he saw Max, didn't he? Sick Game Boy graphics! <laughs> Maya, it's still impossible for humans to fly. We haven't evolved yet. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask a question, Mr. Wright? What is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? With a gun. <laughs> <laughs> that wheelchair's outfitted with ballistic missiles. You 360 no-scoped him, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Hmm. How did he do it? He just wheeled over to the window, just grabbed like a freaking hammer and just chucked it at him. I mean, what is Acro, my question is, what is Acro doing to work out still? Because obviously he's still jacked in the upper body. I imagine that he, I imagine oh, that he does like a lot of pull-ups and yeah. push-ups and shit. Yeah, sitting lifts too. I mean, there are lifts you can do. Oh yeah. There are lifts you can do just on sitting on a bench. So he probably does a lot, yeah, he probably does pull-ups if he can and then. Oh, there's tons of things of... you can do for your deltoid, yeah. or deltoids, mm. right? Is that deltoid? Your, your altoids and your deltoids. Your altoids, yeah. <laughs> your, beta, your beta toids. Yeah. <laughs> your your ah. ligmatoids. Uh, but yeah, no, I've, I, there's, I've seen like videos of people who have had serious medical conditions where they have to have like most of their lower body removed. And some of the shit that they're able to do with their upper oh, yeah. bodies, and, like, yeah. like walking on their hands and fucking crazy amounts of gymnastic stuff that yeah. they're able to do so he totally could be that shredded easily oh yeah no he's yeah. definitely he's definitely still that shredded that's that's the most believable that's the most believable thing in this case <laughs> yeah it's uh -huh. saying a lot too <sighs> oh yeah and skippy k points out if you're doing if you're using the a wheelchair, wheelchair oh, by, yeah. yeah then your arms are it, it, it is you're pushing a lot of arm so work. much work oh my god that's the next course of legal Jimmy Buffett. 
fucking margarita now. <laughs> God damn it. Be careful, Nick. If you mess up here, Jimmy she... Buffett's gonna fucking come down here and kick your ass. <laughs> She's right. I, I don't want to be wasting away again in Margaritaville. <laughs> I gotta give this one some serious thought. I'm sure that Acro killed the Ringmaster. And he killed the Ringmaster while he was in his room. No doubt about it. Time to enlighten us as to how Mr. Dingling committed the crime, Mr. Wright. I mean... Now do we present the boss? Part of me is like, could we do that? But like, part of me is like, is that jumping ahead in the game? I mean, either just either just do it anyway, because we still have full health. Yeah, and drop the yeah. And do it. I'm going to present some evidence. Okay, I mean, you could have just done it and not said you were going to do it, but sh what's used... that Mr. Dingling used to commit the crime of murder? Used... The lion! <laughs> the lion <laughs> that maimed him and his brother. He used Money the Monkey. Uh, Dan Gaming Fan <laughs> says save state. I guess we can save state. I don't think it's going to auto-fail us if we get it wrong, but... Dude, what if that actually was what happened? He got money to go bash him over the head and then swing away. Wait. Swing away, money. <laughs> good, and he put he put the reference. hat on money. <laughs> the fucking signs reference. What? I know, right? By in my hey, hey, listen. One of the one of the I think two good M Night Shyamalan movies. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um I'd say I'd Unbreakable. Say the other one I mean, is... No, it's, it's oh, no Unbreakable is good. Unbreakable is good. It's actually right. more than two because you can go Unbreakable and Split and Ari. I like. like sp I actually I haven't like seen Split, split so I'm... it's good. You can give him two for Unbreakable and Split right off the bat, and yeah. Six Sense. So there's three right Man, off. Man, it's so I'd wild argue. that nowadays M Night Shyamalan is so remembered for making bad movies with twists that people forget about the Six. Or I forgot that he made Six Sense. <laughs> Because oh, yeah. what happened was he hit it big on his first two and yeah. then just started slowly collapsing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then he made the fucking Avatar movie. Yeah, and that's just an insult to everything. Yeah. But enough about everyone's favorite director. <laughs> Alright, I'll say the bust. What's that? A picture? You saying he murdered him with a piece of paper? Yes. Indeed. The problem is what with the item that's shown in this picture. Wait, pictures show real things? Sorcery. The bust? It's quite a large bust. And because it is life-sized, it's also a very, very heavy bust. God damn. Heavy? Some might say it's a dummy thick bust. Heavy enough Some to might say Max has a dummy thick bust. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Especially if it was dropped from a third story window. Gah! Wow, I'm actually surprised that that was the jump of logic we were supposed to make. See? This is how Acro was able to kill the Ringmaster. With the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactica's ample bust. They're God really hammering this joke yeah, home. Uh, they they want everybody to know. We don't we don't even have to make the jokes. Order! Order! The ample voluptuous bust. So you're saying the bust fell onto the ringmaster? I rather And he didn't like it? <laughs> a rather simple crime. Even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it would be incredibly easy to commit. How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair with something so heavy? It's impossible. It's not I like have wheelchairs have that. wheels. Well, I have ev I have evidence of that too. Look at Acro's jacked arms. <laughs> Acro is an acrobat. Oh shit! I just got his name. Fuck, that's funny. He should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like that bust. Mr. Dingling, how do you respond to these charges? He's just sitting there kissing his muscles. <laughs> He's like, what can I say, bro? I'm <laughs> fucking jacked. Yeah, what can I say? <laughs> no pain, no gains. You know what I'm saying, bro? Listen, that's that acro grind set, bro. <laughs> they modeled Adonis after me. <laughs> well, 
Wait, the chat the chat is saying, Zach, really, did you just now realize it? I was joking in character as Phoenix. <laughs> I obviously his name is Acro because he's an acrobat. Come on, y'all. And his brother's name is Bat. Jeez of Beats. I <laughs> Dang. Come on. They just they just thought you had the smoothest y'all brain. Thought, y'all thought I was the king of the dumbasses. No, it's not not today, Zerm, okay? Come on. Really? Not wow. today, Zerg. Quinn just says, we can't tell. You are Phoenix, Zach. You're right. It's my fault for not making Phoenix's voice much more different than my own. I fucked up everybody, okay? <laughs> We're over 70 episodes in. I can't change it now. <laughs> <laughs> We're too, it went too deep. Acro's at a loss for words. He should be. He knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Acro. You can't... Fuck! I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Light. What? Your Honor, the physical health as a witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. Hmm. Testimony, you say? On karma? She's just using this testimony as a ruse to... Is that how you spell ruse? Sure. Just stall no. for time. That's yeah. Rouse. That's Rouse. Ruse is just R U S E. Yeah. That's never Rouse. Damn, that's two fucking typos in one episode game. Unless Damn, it's a, unless it's him. a really archaic spelling, I won't dis I won't exclude the possibility that's a really archaic spelling. But ruse is generally yeah. just R U S E. Something in your blouse got me feeling so aroused. That's a Kanye lyric. There's absolutely no need for such testimony. The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has the right to respond. Sorry, I just put my head back too quick. The defense's objection is overruled. Oh, fuck off. Why can't he see things my way once in a while? Mr. Dingling, I'm sorry, but we need you to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. Wow, that's an actual thing that they would do in court. That's oh wild. God. Expert the testimony. Time, the rare time of this game when they uh, acknowledge actual correct court things. Yeah. The witness will have no problems. However, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you. Uh. That woman will sink to any low to win a case. I mean, she hasn't tased you yet, so. <laughs> and really quick, before we start this, I'm going to run to the, the the little acrobat's room, and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I did forget to eat dinner before this, so I'm going to need to find no. food afterwards. No, Pridge. Wait, Pridge. Real talk. Yep. Technically, because of things that have happened on this channel... You are owed a pizza by Save Data Team. <laughs> Do you want me to order you a pizza while Wes is in the bathroom? That would no. be incredible. No, I'm serious. The chat would also love it. Please Sorry, let me no. do that. Oh. The chat's saying please. The chat's I... saying please. <laughs> That's surrounded by preferences. Bridge order a pizza from HelloFresh. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> pizza from hell. Hello, hello, fresh. I'd like a pizza, please. <laughs> I'd like a one pizza. <laughs> yeah, with that pizza. But for real, can I get you nah. a pizza? I'm serious. Nah. <laughs> I, I'm good. I do not need or, pizza. Or, right order, so, order something else and 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 it, put it on your expense account for save data. Expense put put it on put it on your your save data credit card. <laughs> That we all have the company's card. God, we need a company credit card. That would be really. I, you know what? I'm gonna get. I should get a new credit card and, and have the Save Data logo printed on it. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> uh, it'd, be a, it'd be a topic. It'd be a. To, it'd be a conversation starter whenever you give the credit card to someone. That's true. What is this logo? <laughs> That's just my oh, business. You've never heard of Save Data? <laughs> YouTube.com/slash/SaveDataTeam. Uh, Team. Avery or, shared forty bits saying, "Get this man a pizza." Logan tipped a dollar. Get this man a pizza. Traveling in a box gifted $20. Get Pridge a pizza. 
Can we get Pridge of Pizza, folks? Pridge. No, no, okay, dude, this, this Saturday, I will actually absolutely need to do delivery or takeout from somewhere this Saturday. Same, 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 same. But can we do it tonight as well? I, no, I don't need a. I don't need someone to come deliver me a pizza at nine fifteen at night. I'm just. I'm just saying this is probably the last chance you're gonna get before the before the end of the stream, which you know is gonna be another at least hour and a half. That's fine. I will be okay. But you haven't eaten dinner, Bridge. I'm trying to think about your blood sugar levels. Take I care of yourself. That. I have to eat tonight. I'll be fine. Bridge, you need to eat. I'm literally dying of starvation. I I'm, know. Not even I'm not even hungry yet. Bridge, it's 9.15. You gotta eat the pizza. I, I had a late lunch. Somebody dox Bridge, find out his address and send him a pizza. Don't do that. Do not do that. That was a joke. <laughs> do not do that. You will go to jail. Uh... I love how the whole chat now is just bridge, eat dinner, eat the pizza. <laughs> bridge, bridge, get a pizza. <laughs> okay, let's let's continue the game. Uh, Mission failed. We'll get them next time. God damn it. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bust. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat, if you couldn't tell. And only my legs were injured. <laughs> Everybody in the chat is trying to get this fucking pizza now. Giant Penguin says, can I have the pizza? Because I've been doing trivia for six months. <laughs> Maybe I don't... We'll talk, Giant Penguin. Oh, no. The chat's this saying Penguin it. deserves it. <laughs> we'll talk. This is, we'll this talk. Is, this is a... This is going to be like a save data monthly pizza giveaway. We're never going to fucking we're gonna, get through this. That we're going to have to start. Uh, yeah, no, honestly, we're probably going to have to do a pizza giveaway. Uh, maybe we'll do that for a bonus thing on the stream. Anyways. However, lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him. Don't you think? Hmm. Hmm. I have no doubts in regards to the witness's testimony. It was impossible for him to lift the bust and carry it over to the window. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A single false step would have led to even more severe injuries. That's what I was thinking. Was it? Because I'm a smart boy. What is your opinion on the matter, Mr. Wright? Probably something stupid. Sorry, I was, I was not, I just zoned out there. What? <laughs> I'd still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. Shut the... F <sighs> I can't let her get to me. I've got to focus. Focusing. Focusing. Hmm. Could have lifted the bust. Strong upper body. My legs, only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. I think that's when we start pressing. Go for it. And why is that? Because if I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. <laughs> I still haven't gotten much feeling back in my legs yet. Hmm. So you couldn't have thrown that bust out of the window. There's no way I could have exerted the force of my lower body. How long do you think your recovery will take? Huh. You have to remember that the nerves were severed. I'm currently undergoing some extremely intensive rehabilitation. This is not a relevant question. Yeah. But it's still going to take a while before I'm back to 100%. Let me remind you of another very important point. If the witness was carrying the bust, he would not be able to see out below the window. 
<clears throat> Why do you say it would be impossible? Allow me to explain. You accept that if I was carrying the bust, I couldn't see out below the window. Thus, there's no way that I would know the location of the ringmaster's head. Well, I suppose you've got a point. Hey, Nick. Huh? What if you turn things around? Maybe if you think of it sort of like this. If he knew the location of the ringmaster's head, then he could drop the bust. Well, Maya, thanks for giving us the solution. That does make sense. If only I could prove somehow that Acro knew the location of the ringmaster's head without looking down. Oh my gosh, he did. Because he wrote a note. I think I've already explained things sufficiently. All right. So... My question is, is it the note or is it the box? I mean, do you want me to tell you what it is? Well, I don't want to waste our time, yeah. It's the box. Okay. Objection. Same idea, though. Yeah. Acro, you didn't really need to lean out the window, did you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? You already knew ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. Quite precisely, may I add. Objection. 